Here we are for another episode of Gloomhaven with the Hit Point Hunters. Uh, this episode is going to be a little different, and there might be a bunch of these that you're going to be seeing as one episode. Uh, basically, in our last full video, mm -hmm. uh, when we were on the... Windswept Highlands. Right. We posted as if people wanted to see a full playthrough uh, to leave 50 thumbs up in that video. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be doing in the meantime, until that number gets reached, hopefully, uh, we're going to continue playing through Gloomhaven, but we're actually going to record a few parts of it. Uh, really, the story element, all the legacy versions, uh, so this way that people might want to just um, hear how the Hit Point Hunters are doing, right. what's going on in our world. I think we're going to do a version of this we said in the very first video and then we got so excited and we started taping all of them and then we realized how much time it took and how little Every, uh, other everything else play. we were playing yes right so we're actually in the middle of doing a sherlock holmes consulting detective tonight instead yes. that's like our main video uh and i i think this is going to work out it's going to appease everybody hopefully uh, and if not, hey, we'll do more videos if that's really what, what mm -hmm. people want. Or whenever we get to a really major event, we might do a full taping Maybe, event yeah. like when we fight a, a giant boss. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to show you everything that, that's happened. Your scoundrel actually leveled up in the last video. She did. And the level three card that I picked is called Duelist Advance. The top is a move three, attack three. And the bottom lets me add a plus two attack um, on all my attacks targeting card. Blech. Targeting enemies adjacent to none of their allies um, this round. I think it's good just because the move through attack through. Yeah, the I know. That's really why I picked it. And if she's already next to somebody, she could do a lot of damage um, okay. from the bottom half, nice. half of the card. Yeah. So we're back in Gloomhaven. The first thing that we're going to do is the Brute Turok and Ebenezer are going to go bless, bless themselves yes. with 10 gold apiece. Uh, we get two check marks on that new. Uh, checklist that we need. At the bottom of the board, yep. yep. We need three more to increase our prosperity by mm -hmm. one, which is really what we want to do just so we can see what the new gear looks like. Yeah. I think that's going to be cool. Yeah. So every time we want to at least increase that if we have the spare gold. Okay. Uh, now, knowing that we're going to do, I think the ruin, the, well, we're doing the ruinous crypts. Yes, we're going back to what we did before the windswept Thailands. Right. We went into the crypts, we saw. Uh, these weird cultists, they were doing experiments with elementals. Mm -hmm. We could either continue to foil their plans or help them by attacking their enemies. Uh, I don't ever really want to help cultists out. No, we're going to foil their plans. We're, we're going to foil their plans. Yeah. So that's where we're going to go to, uh, but we need to do our city yes. and road event. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. So we're back in the city. Do you want to do the city or do you want to do the road? Well, you can do the city. Okay. If you can read it. Stop struggling. You're coming with me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ahead of you in the street, you see a pair of guards scuffling with a young boy dressed in rags. You snatch purses. You go to the ghost fortress. No way around that. But my family is starving, the boy cries. You recognize his voice from some of your dealings in the sunken market. He's given you helpful hints for mercenary work on a number of occasions. Oh, this is little Thomas. Okay. Right? Okay. Option A, intervene on the boy's behalf. Mm -hmm. Let the guards haul the boy away to prison. A, intervene. All right. Do you agree? I will not fight that. Okay. He's, he's Timmy, Thomas. Fair you don't thing. even remember his name. I think name. it's Thomas it's the last time I talked okay. to him. He helped us out. Sure. So, and it's not like we're stopping, completely stopping. It's like, hey, you know, what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll take him into our... Okay. Oh, jeez. Is our reputation greater than nine? Oh, where's our sheet? I don't think so. It is a five. Okay. No. You retreat the guards to inch 
entreat the guards to let the boy go, but they are unmoved. With further pressing, they agree to do so only if you pay his criminal fine. The guards cuff the boy's ear and set him free. Lose ten collective gold. I, Ebenezer can lose it. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Add event 70 to the deck. <laughs> to the Pretty, deck? Yeah, so it's going to go into the city deck, and then the, this whole city get gets shuffled then. So right now it's always been in one order from the very oh, beginning. Oh, okay. But when you add a new card into it, it completely gets shuffled. So event 70 is going into the deck. And Ebenezer is going to lose 10 gold. Yep. And this city card is removed from the game. Okay, hey. A uh, decision that we've done that is permanently changing Changed. our story. Hence why we're doing this tape. Mm -hmm. So not only can you see it, but we can actually remember our playthrough. Right. All right. Road event. Here we are on the way to the ruinous crypt. Walking a path between a small grove and a steep cliff, you suddenly find yourself facing a massive group of felled trees blocking the road. The placement of the trees seems odd, and you have a wary, suspicious feeling about the whole situation. Option A. Clear the trees from the road. It is the best way through, and it will help other travelers. Option B. Take the time to find a way around the trees. I think I'm going to clear the tree. Yeah, I always want to go towards helping other people. It's a nice thing but, to do. Plus, I need a little workout before I go into this dungeon. But you have a very suspicious feeling about the whole situation. Okay, well, here's the thing. If the hit point hunters do not clear these trees, some other group's going to do it, and they're going to get attacked. Right? We don't want that to happen to them. Let's... Let's, We're really nice guys. I don't think trap. that is what the hit point hunters would do, but that's what Corey and Andrea would do. We, what do you mean? We are the hit point hunters. Okay, we're going to swing the trap. So option A, we're going to clear the trees from the road. Well, first of all, uh, let's just get this straight. The road is also the, the straightest path to the ruinous crypt. Mm -hmm. Right? It is the best way through, and it will help other travelers. So there's something that benefits us and will benefit others yeah we want a reputation up there we want to be known okay option a okay let there be something for the brute okay do we have the yeah we have one of these right we have this one the starburst yes my morgana she levitates the trees and the trees are too massive and dense to remove through conventional means. The Torok went over and tried to pick it up. But with elemental power, they are destroyed and swept aside in no time. No effect. Alright, get them out of the way. And we rip it up. Alright, out of the game. There you go, Morgana. Yeah. You could have been the, um... Oh, I don't want to know. Triforce. Oh, okay. Ooh, what the, I don't know what that is. I don't And, yeah, the other symbol, I don't know either. Okay. That's so fine. it was hey, one of the three of them. It was probably a bad card, and we just got rid of it. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we are heading to the Ruminous Crypts. We arrive there, and our mission is clear. These elemental cultists are distorting the fabric of the world and must be stopped. With that goal in mind, you follow the writings to an ancient crypt you believe to be the cult's base of operation. Stealing yourselves for combat, you kick through the rotted door and charge into the hall of the crypt. The sight before you is both wondrous and horrifying. A group of cultists is performing ritual incantations in front of a black, gaping hole in reality. They turn towards you and snarl, unsheathing their sacrificial daggers. Behind them, an inky darkness spills forth from the hole and coalesces into nightmarish forms full of teeth and claws. You know you must send these terrors of the elemental plane back into the void. Yeah. But you are paralyzed with fear. 
So we burst into this room. We see this portal in the background. We don't know what's going on. And before we know it, they're attacking us. And we have to start the first round disarmed. So we can't attack them. Oh, God. <laughs> and uh, we need to kill all the monsters in this scenario. Uh, so we will let you know at the very end how it goes. How we made out. All right, so we finished this uh, episode, or this dungeon. Campaign. We came in here, we destroyed all of the cultists and these night demons that were mm. in the center. Ice demons. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Right? And then yes. when we opened up both of the wings, we had flame demons and ice demons that we had to deal with. Kill them all. It actually didn't seem bad. This might have been one of the smoothest episodes, or one of the smoothest dungeons yes. we've done. Everybody had a lot of health, either a lot of health or a lot of shield. Mm -hmm. But I think we... We just chewed through them, and we were able to pick up a lot of the loot. There are two treasure chests. Both gave 15 gold, which we were able to get. Mm -hmm. And we completed... I, I forget what Morgana's uh, checkmark was. Uh, oh, yeah, make sure that there's a guy at the beginning of every round. So everyone completed their checks except for... Ebenezer. He was one turn away, and yet the cultist... The, um, the living corpse, living corpse killed himself. actually killed himself, so it ended one turn before we could have gotten you your check mark. But we killed him, and we just yep. left um, three loot on the board, four loot on the board. I know. So, with the cultists and their minions dead, it seems a dark rift is now dormant. It is no less disconcerting, however. You toss a rock at it, and the rock disappears into nothingness. You must admit that you wonder whether you could enter the rift yourself and whether you could survive the trip to wherever the rock ended up, which is the plane of elemental power. Or, alternatively, find some way to close the rift is probably the more prudent decision. There is an ether enchanter Neither. in Gloomhaven who may know more about this inner planner stuff. She's been known to ask for impossible favors before she helps anyone, though. Oh, jeez. Frozen, hollow, and forgotten crypt. So that gave us three new missions. Wow. So it's like, do we walk through the thing? Really? That rock went into nothingness. Wanted, only because... What if there's, like, an awesome weapon on the other side in this portal. Are you kidding me? What if we get sucked into nothingness and can't get back? Well, why don't you go in first and test it? Oh, yeah, okay. And then step back and see what happens. You're the elemental ones. Why You're don't right. you... You're right. I should do that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we're going to pick to see... Uh, we got a lot of money, I think, experience in that. So, yeah. we'll just give you a, a little bit of a wrap-up. And, uh, yeah. See how that went. All right, so again, that really wasn't that bit of a mission. Uh, actually, my two guys, I'm, I'm close to becoming level four. I think I'm eight points away experience-wise, but they both got enough check marks to level up uh, in that in that regard. So the brute got to put in two uh, pierce three cards, mm. which is pretty cool, and draw another one. And Morgana and I did a plus one with a wound card. Um, I... Um, at 120 experience and 130 experience, so I'm still at least one or two more games, two or three more games away from mm. leveling these guys up. But um, the scoundrel did get a check mark, and she um, changed out a minus one for a plus one. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so we got, like I said, we got a few new ones to the board. Although one of them we actually already had. Mm -hmm. Number 14, was it? The Frozen Hollow. We already had. So I got to figure out how we had that before. I forgot, yeah. But it's either we're going to walk through the portal or try and get help to... Close it. To close it. Yeah. What do you want to do? I want to find Walk that. through it. Cool. We'll see you next time. Okay, so this is our ninth mission of Gloomhaven. Mm -hmm. If you're following along, you just saw uh, our eighth one where we 
played last night and I'm blanking. We went in and killed all the, the crypts. cultists. Right? We were in the crypts. Right, we yeah. saw that they were doing some weird um, opening portals, right? And we killed them all and got rid of the elementals that were coming out. Got some treasure chests. Yep, filled with some gold. gold. And now we've got this portal standing in front of us, right? And we agreed that we were going to go through. We agreed. Right. Now, one thing that I find kind of odd about Gloomhaven is they have this whole linked scenario as a rule. So we could go right into the next mission and not have to do a travel event. Oh, okay. Well, it makes sense. We're already there. Right. Right. But we kind of want to go back to Gloomhaven to either buy items or... Bless the sanctuary. Yeah, we want to get more blessings because, of course, we want to level up and get our prosperity up and, and whatnot. So... I don't really know if I agree with the whole linked mission because it's like, oh, here's this portal in front of us. Let's not go through it now. We'll go back to Gloomhaven, travel back. The portal's still going to be here. Then I get to walk through. Like, I wish it was you're forced to make a decision. Here's your opportunity. Go through the portal or, like, you decide not to and now you can't go back. I guess I can see why they do it in case, like, you need to level up a character or get somebody new. But... It, it would be pretty cool if, like, you had to decide, well, here's our one chance before it closes to jump in. Choose your own adventure. Oh, yeah, basically, because that's what this whole game is. It's like, choose your own adventure, and now it's like, ah, well. You don't get to keep your blessings, even though you haven't used them all. That was the whole point where I really got on this kick. So if I only yeah. used one blessing out of Turok. And I used one blessing. I want to go into this new mission with only one blessing left. That's, you I would can't. like to do that. You can't. It's you only for the next them. scenario. Yeah. Right. So it's like, I have to go back to Gloomhaven just to get more blessings to go back in. I don't know. I don't like that little. It's not realistic. Although, jumping into a portal. Is much more realistic. So. Isn't that realistic either. So we, okay, okay we're going to go through the portal. I don't want to miss out on any cool treasure that may be on the other side. That's or, you know, honestly like the reason. Giant monsters who hurt us. Yeah, I'm not okay. too worried about them. Oh, okay, great. You can always jump back through the portal and escape. Sure, sure. So we are going back to Gloomhaven first. Mm -hmm. Three of us are being blessed, right? Yes. The scoundrel, who I don't even know who your name is. Cat? Kate? Cat? Cat! Cat. Catherine, for short. Cat. I'm or still no, thinking, Katarina. I'm still thinking it's your sister. Katarina, well, this is Catherine, Catherine. Turok, and Morgana I are all going to go bless, because mm -hmm. we got a lot of money now that we mm -hmm. used, uh, which is three circles on our list, which actually increases our prosperity right. by one, uh, letting us achieve level two. Now, this is what I'm the most excited about since I played the first scenario, is that deck of new items. So I'm wondering, and I haven't—I really haven't looked at them yet. I've got them right here in front of me. I've been waiting for this taping to get my first impressions. I know we don't like to cheat. Look in advance. I—I want to know. Okay, yes, we level up. We get more health. We get one more card. But how do I get more damage? Like, besides the cards, like, am I going to get items that really help me out besides stun everybody? So I'm very interested in these items, and we get to do that right now. So okay. seven new items come into play that we can purchase. Right now, seven right now, new items. We just blessed ourselves, okay. increased our prosperity by one, Okay. we hit level two. That also means if we ever start a new character, they can automatically start at level two. Oh. Pretty sweet. Cool, yeah. All right, so the, ready for the first first one? Yeah, Is they're all seven are right there? They're all right here. Okay. They're boots. New boots. Good. Okay. Boots of Speed. Okay. At the beginning of a round, after all ability cards have been revealed, increase or decrease your leading initiative value by 10. That's different. That's different. That's different. Okay. There's two of How those. much? 30 gold. Okay. Cloak of... Invisibility. Pockets. Oh my goodness, it is awesome. How much does it cost? 20 gold. Okay, okay. 
it's gonna let me have other things, right? Yeah. So Ebenezer's gonna buy it. Your okay, well that's a typo. Your can carry two additional items. Yes. That's awesome. Okay. That's a potion and that skeleton ring. Maybe. The power core? No, skeleton remember ring. there's that other ring that we found that we could purchase. Oh, I forget it what that does. A, it summons a skeleton. Oh, it does? It does. I forgot. Okay. okay. There's two of them. Two of them. Okay. Empowering talisman. During your turn, refresh one of your consumed items. How much? Expensive. 50. 45. So basically you get another, you get to use an item twice. Because this is a one-time use. Okay. Two of those. Oh my goodness. Battle axe. 20 gold. Okay. Turn a single target melee attack into the following. So it allows you to... Double up. Hit. Yeah. Okay. So okay. if I have a powerful, like, I do six damage on attack and then I hit two people. Ooh, that might be good for the scoundrel. You're right. Because you don't have weapon right now. And I have 28 gold left. Ooh, that might be pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Weighted net. 20 gold. During your range attack, add immobilize to a single attack. Okay. We don't, we don't have many rangers. No. But. Not true rangers. Okay, not bad. 20 gold. Minor mana potion. During your turn, create any element. Oh. Pretty cool. Yeah, how much? Ten. Not bad at all. And there's four of those. Yes. Okay, that's really cool. And then stun powder. During your turn, add stun to a single attack. Okay. Is it a tappable? No, there's one time use. One and done. Okay. Hey, I like I'm the I'm excited. Axe. I, I like, like the battle axe. I like the battle axe and I like the pockets. Yes. I think I'll be making some purchases. Okay, well, actually, that's what we're going to do right now before we do our city events. Oh, okay. So do you want to yes, head over I... here to buy this battle axe? Yes, so it was 20? Yep. Okay. I like it. Okay, so she's down. Okay, look at us. We actually have weapons. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That. That's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh, that is cool. Okay. And I think it's only one-handed, which is crazy. Okay. So that means I could be holding two items? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Ebenezer, let's see, he has 50 gold right now, so he could potentially buy a few things. Oh um, okay, so the pockets, remind me what the cloak does? You can carry two additional items. Now, is that including potions? Yeah, potions are items. Potions are items. Okay, yeah, so... Anything with that little, like, pouch? Is an item? Yes. Okay, well... So I think we have, we actually have, well, we have that power potion, which is plus two damage, because remember we just got one from the Highlands. Yeah. In stock, and I think we have something else. So you would automatically be, be able to use this. Now, oh, well, here's the thing. Hmm. It counts as your armor. Oh. So maybe right now, mm-mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. Mm -mm. That changes things. That so. changes things. Well, is there anything else that I could buy? Boots? The boots. Nah. Or an element? Yeah, but that's a... It's a potion? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to set these aside. I think that might be it. Let me see. You okay. don't want to buy something for Torak? No, I'm, I'm... I got... Unless I buy that helmet. Remember, I was like, ooh, maybe I should buy that times two helmet. Do you have enough money for that? I've got 12 left. I think I'm going to. Okay. Because I was waiting, I was holding off on originally buying because I wanted to see what these items were, but there's not a helmet in here. The helmet is the talisman. Uh... Refresh one of your consumed items. So that is potentially what Ebenezer could buy. Mm -hmm. But yeah. does he wait? I think I'm going to buy the helmet for the brute, because he's a tank. Okay. Okay. So that's 10 gold. I'm down to two. Here's your pencil. Thank you. All right. Are you ready for our story events? 
Yeah, I was hoping to... I know, I know you were. I'm gonna read the city, and you read the road. Does he... Oh, well, you could have a dagger and a battle axe. Mm -hmm. But you probably want the battle axe for Turok. No, I already got my Warhammer. It's a double... It's two-handed? Yeah. It's giant. Have you ever seen Turok? Swinging like this. Oh, well then why wouldn't he buy this? Oh, the battle axe? Yeah. Yeah, you could. Because you do melee attacks pretty strong. And you could hit two people right away. Yeah, because you got a dagger and a battle axe. Because that's insane that it's one-handed. I agree. Good call. Okay. Nice job, Ebenezer. Okay. Alright? I like my goods. Okay. City. Upon returning to the city after your latest adventure... Okay. Did you tell anybody about the portal? No. Okay, good. Of course not. You are approached by a high-ranking guard at the gate. What's this guy want? Ah, good. I'm glad to have caught you, the guard begins. The capital has fallen behind on shipments of wood to Gloomhaven. We just cut up all those trees that were in the way. I know. <laughs> right. This is why they fall in behind, because it, they fell off the latest shipment into uh, the road. Well, yeah. Uh, so now it falls to us to pick up the slack so that construction of important city buildings doesn't stagnate. The guard points to the east. We're forming an expedition to gather logs from the corpse wood. We could use your help either to guard against enemies or to chop down trees. Well... Obviously, we just saw that Morgana is a pro at being a lumberjack. Okay. Right? So, we can either join the expedition as a guard or join it as a logger. Well, I say we join it as guards. Oh, see, I would have said logger because she's better at chopping down trees. That was one instance. Yeah, and we know she's good at it. Yeah, when magic is involved. Right. So, I'm not going to show up to the job and be like, Oh, I know magic and chop these trees down, but I'm not going to tell anybody. Of course I'm going to like go chop trees down with my yeah, magic. Yeah, but do I trust other people watching guard? That's a good question. Like, we're the dream team. Why don't I let the other guys? All right. No, I don't know. I'm okay with being on guard. We just got battle axes. Well, let's see. Logically... What would we do? We would be guards. Yeah, I think we would be guards. We would be guards because of the hit point hunters. Yeah, but what are we going to get for being guards as opposed to logs? Well, maybe reputation for protecting people as opposed to money for doing a job. Maybe. Okay. I would much rather the reputation. Guards. Option A. Don't look. Oh, right, right. They're not They're not rip-ups. So Okay, sorry. Oh, they're not? No, this is it goes back into the deck. Oh. The logging expedition heads to the outskirts of the corpse wood and begins felling trees and transporting them back to Gloomhaven. You stay on your guard, patrolling the area and making sure there are no surprise attacks. A couple hours in, a tribe of vermlings appear from the woods, but you are alert and prepared, dispatching them without a single casualty. The rest of the day goes by uneventfully. Gain 10 experience each. I like it. Bottom. I like it. That means Ebenezer's only 10 away from level 4. Wow. Um... I actually level, you level up, up but with Torak right now. So I'm going to have to pick what cards I'm going to... Yeah. Or I, it because we're out. No, we haven't left yet. Oh, that's a city event. A mission, yeah. Yeah. So I level up. I'm going to get a new card and a perk. You're welcome. I think that was worth it then. So I'm at 152. Wow. I'm at 140 and 130. Morgana is at 146. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So wait, we have to do all that before we pick the road event, right? Uh, yes. 
Leveled up Turok. I'm picking the Unstoppable Charge attack. Attack 5. I've been experienced. That's it. It's my best attack, and I get to keep bringing it back. So mm -hmm. that's going in the deck. And I decide as my perk to remove two negative one cards. Good choice. I like it. Okay. Road so, event. Road event. Number 24. Now, this was the one that was shuffled, right? No, the city deck. Oh, the was city shuffled. deck was shuffled. Okay. You've come across a group of brow beaten Enochs trudging down the path in the opposite direction as you. Some are pulling carts laden with various miscellany, mostly furs and crudely crafted goods. The rest have armloads of much of the same. It is obvious that this is everything the Enochs have, their life's worth in their arms and wagons. They are all covered in what, to, in what appears to be soot. The shaman at the head of the group calls to you. The beast awakens. The mountain is aflame. Beware, you do not anger it. Looking to the horizon, you can see black smoke rising from a far off peak. That's where we're going. Option A, aid the Enochs in what they are carrying. Option B, ignore the shaman's ramblings. Oh. I don't really get this. Why are they heading to the mountain? I thought they were leaving the mountain. Oh, I guess they are. Oh, because the beast has awakened. Right. So I bet it's like, do we want to help them, but then we might start the next mission kind of exhausted or tired? Hey, Enoxes, they're my brothers. You know, maybe they'll tell us of what happened if we help them. Of course we're going to help them. I don't even know why we're considering it, right? Option A. Yeah. Aid the Enox. We're helping them. You take pity on this gets ripped up. You take pity on the disheveled group of Enochs forced from their home by a natural disaster. You travel with them for a time, treating their wounds and helping to lighten their loads. Honestly, because we know that portal's going to be there when we get there. We chose correctly. The shaman thanks you and hands you an amulet. We can't return to our homes until the beast rests. I fear what this may mean for us all. I hope this keeps you safe. We get an item. An item? No. Okay. We get ten collective gold. Okay. We unlock. Sold that item so fast. Unlock Burning Mountain. But we have to discard two cards each. Okay, so we are exhausted, but we unlocked a new area. Eighty-two. Mm -hmm. And then this gets ripped up. Okay. So 82. The Burning Mountain. So what I'm guessing is we're going to have to go over there and fight the beast. Yeah. So that the Enox can... I absolutely want to do that. That's so awesome. So we can come back so they can return to their home. That's cool. But we have to discard two cards right mm -hmm. away. Which is not a big deal except for the mage. That's one whole turn that she... Because in our last video, she was exhausted as, at the last turn. Yeah. So it was. Although, close. see, last turn we kind of let it go a couple extra turns just oh, so we, we wanted to get the money. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we'll see. She would have been all right. Okay, so we are jumping into. Hey, we help the Enox out. They tell us of this area. We get ten gold. Okay, you guys will take care of it after we deal with the portal. Yeah, I don't know okay. who's getting the ten gold. We'll see. Okay, you can have it. I don't. Know. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then. We wind up back at our portal. Oh, you're reading. Uh huh. Right. Mm hmm. And that's not it. Is well, it? this oh, is yes, us is. entering the portal. Okay. So the hit points gamers, hit point hunters, uh huh, walk through the portal and then see requirements. The rift closed. Global incomplete. Is the rift closed? No, it's no, still open. It's not. I see it. We just walk through it. Your vision shifts and blurs around you. Great. Nightmarish wailing pierces your ears. You feel your extremities stretching out as if the universe is trying to tear you apart. I told you this wasn't going to be good. So far, so good. It's just like in Harry Potter when we go up the chimney. Uh, uh -huh. And then it stops. You open your eyes to see your feet are on solid ground. But around you whirl strange elemental energies. Fire mixing with ice. 
in torrential power. Okay. You catch your breath and glance back, reveal to see a void of darkness similar to the one that brought you to this place. You should have just walked in first and tried to hop back out. We sent the Vernling in first. What? The relief is short-lived, however, as a booming voice fills the crackling air. Who are you to slay my servants and invade my realm? Oh, great. This affront will not go unpunished. Okay. Before you emerge, before you, the energies in the air begin to form vague demonic shapes. To go deeper into the unearthly place, you must fight your way through. I'm ready. So here we are. I'm exhausted a little bit. Mm -hmm. As we help those Enochs out. Uh, where are we going to jump in? Uh, there's three guys right here. It looks like there's a treasure chest. Yep, a treasure chest all the way at the very end. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, let's see how the hit point hunters do. Hopefully we don't die in this void, and then you can blame it all on me. Mm -hmm. So a quick little recap. Uh, the first room really wasn't so bad. There's three monsters that we were able to chew through pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Second room. Uh, big guys. Big guys. And the one had um, like re three retaliate. Yeah. It wasn't. It really wasn't that bad. We, wasn't we didn't bad. really seem um, that it was much an, an issue right now. It kind of seems like we're more powerful than most of the monsters. Or we're we just knowing our characters a lot better. Yeah, we can stun and disarm when we need to. Right. And we're utilizing the elemental tracks better, so my brew can yeah. jump and then uh, do some pierce, which is really helpful. Um, we got we pulled some times twos early on, and then we get to the final room, which has a lot of lava, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my mage just jumped all the way to the back, grabbed that treasure chest. And again, if you're following along, you just want to hear how our story unfolds. Um, I'm going to tell you what was in the chest, so you can skip ahead a few seconds. Uh, it was a check mark, so I thought it was going to be like this awesome item at the back of this dungeon. Yeah, like a power core type item where you could only get in the portal. In the portal. No, it's yeah. just like a check mark. Okay, great. So her check mark, she also completed her objective, so that gave her another check mark. So she okay. got two this round. Turok, um, well, you know, we're jumping ahead. Okay. After we defeated the last guy, let's read the story. I don't even know what this is going to be like. As the final demon in sight screams and dissipates into the wind, you fall to your knees, thankful that the assault has stopped. We fell to our knees because we're picking up all this mm -hmm. gold on the floor. Scooping it we in. We were all wounded, so each round we were taking a wound. So that was And Ebenezer scary. was down to one. Yeah, it was one health. Very interesting, the voice appears deep inside your head, oh, great. clawing at your brain with its words. You interlopers are unexpectedly powerful. I could certainly use your expertise to, uh, so to find something in your own plane. The red rock below you rumbles and cracks, and a fiery fissure opens at your feet. I open my realm to you. Oh my Come, let me speak to you face to face. Having already made one leap of faith, this day you decide there's no harm in making another. The heat grows more intense as you descend, and scalding air billows up from below, slowing your fall. You land quite safely in what appears to be an underground Oh, we're temple. going! Oh, we just, we just jumped There's down. There's no choice! You just, we all just jumped down. Before you stands a monstrous creature, horned and terrifying. Yeah, the devil! Holding a trident and standing on four hooved legs. The voice still resonates from inside your head, brave and foolish. You should serve me well. Oh, great. There is an artifact of great power located in a forgotten temple along the Serpent's Kiss River. You can retrieve it for me. <sighs> okay. At the Temple of the Elements. Or you can die here and now. 
Oh, okay, fine. Infernal Throne. Party Achievement. A Demon's Errand. This is what we got. Okay, so we're either going to fight him now to the death, or... And steal that trident. That's what I came here for. Or we're going to go and get his... his artifact. Artifact right? from where? Uh, 22. Temple of the Elements. Oh, it's not here. Okay. So, well, here's the thing. No, there is no thing. There's two things. We're killing him to the death. Why can't we all kill him to the death and then go loot his... Right, okay, so that's the third thing. What I'm thinking is, so if we go got if we go get this artifact, I'm just going to keep it. I'm not going to bring it to him. Right? That's silly. Right. I wonder if we have the option to. I think if it's more like we're at a crossroads. I like the fight. If you him. go to get it, you're not going to get what you get from killing, killing him. him. Right. And if you kill him, you're not going to get... Right. Now, here's what I think is, is funny. Again, I'm going to bring up from the very beginning. So now we're going to leave and go back to Gloomhaven to bless, and then, and then come, come back, back through the portal. Walk all the way back down. through the... Jump down the air and be like, you know what, on second thought, I didn't go get that artifact. I'm here to kill you. That's basically what we're doing. That's silly. That sounds silly. Right? So what are we going to do? Because that's the thing. He's like, or you die here and now. Well, he's basically saying, go get that thing for me or else I'm going to kill you. Right. I'm gonna. So that's really what we have to do. We have to pretend we're going to get the artifact, go back to Gloomhaven, rest up, and then come back in. Again, silly. It should be like, Boom, make your choice there. now. And that's it. Again, because I only used one of my blessed Yeah, ones. exactly. Come on, could they please change that? Anyone out there that's watching this, let's... I don't think the devil's going to really, like, let you go back and recharge. Well, so I... So what do we get? Are you... Two new locations. Two new locations and party achievement. A demon's errand. That's it. So we write that achievement down. Or I don't know if it's a sticker. Oh. Uh, well, it's not going to stay on here, is it? No, do you have the other sheet? No. All right, well, I don't know. Well, you'll see what we decide next one, but... Uh, we're gonna kill this guy. We're gonna go check mark. She also leveled up, so she got this new card, which you can see right here. Uh, I did the fork beam, attack two, range three, attacks two targets, move four. I got this because I wanted a low number. I went with this one. You didn't take the other one? I didn't. Oh, wait until some, one of my characters is on his deathbed. Alright, well, maybe I'll change my mind. We'll, we'll see. see. You can, the other one was. Uh, Oh, yeah, because she doesn't have any low numbers. I have no low numbers. The other one was amazing. Yeah, it basically, it's a one-time use, both on the top and the bottom. But the bottom one was a uh, If there's heal. a starburst, a sunburst. If there's a, if there's a sunburst, I fully heal somebody. If there's not a sunburst, I half heal somebody. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. But I already have some heal cards that heal a little bit. You do. And I don't have to get rid of them. This right. is another card that I have to get rid of. of. And I wouldn't be using Take that. Take the low card. Yeah, low card I think is You're better. You're right. We just got clouded by the excitement. And then I also, for her perk from leveling up, I removed the negative one and added a plus one into her deck. And Turok, he completed his objective, so he got two check marks. It was the one where there always has to be a monster on the board every round. We got that. Okay, Cat the Scoundrel is one point away from leveling up to four. Mm. But she didn't complete her check mark either. She had to open a door and I forfeited it so that Torah could get his check marks. Long story. Um, so she okay, she really said the same. Yeah, she doesn't say the same. Ebenezer leveled up to level four. He completed his check, which was to loot two. no money, tokens, or treasure, and he got two checks. Excellent. So he leveled up to level four, and he completed check mark. So I removed two minus one cards, get wow. them out of here, and then I added a brand new, a plus two and a frost card. Ooh, okay, cool. To my deck. Um, and he picked um, the cranium overload card, which you can see right here. Um, the top is really cool. It's going to help at the end when we're killing a bunch of enemies at once. Mm -hmm. But really, 
I took it because of the move five. Right. He, this is, this will be his first large and only card, large yeah. move card. Yeah. And so. it's early. Yeah. Again, yeah. we're on the side of, let's not. The other the one was like a loot card and a, it was a good attack card on the bottom, but again, it was get rid of. So yeah. I'd much rather the move card that I can use every turn. All right, or so, more than uh, one turn. I think we're on the side of, let's pretend we're going to go get the artifact from him. Go to Gloomhaven, rest up, jump right back. And punch him in the fiery face. We're going to douse a bucket of water on him. And I'm going to shoot the ice in his face. <laughs> um... I'm gonna I'm gonna seal that trident, and I'm hoping it's a boss. That'd be great because I need to kill four, and it would be a third one for Turok. I think Satan would probably be a boss. So. I want that weapon. Mm -hmm. All right, so thanks for checking out this rendition. mini mission. Yep, and hey, who knows? Maybe if the boss is a big one, we will record it for you. We'll find out. We'll see if that's what we do. Mm -hmm. So thanks for checking us out, and we'll see you next time. Welcome back. This is episode 10 of Hit Point Hunters in the World of Gloomhaven. This is our third mini episode, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. uh, of putting this together. And this video should be posted along with the other two, mm -hmm. all the short ones, one right after another for you. And actually, at the timing of this video, our episode 7 is already halfway to its goal of doing a full playthrough. Mm-hmm literally really after one day so thank you for people that are watching obviously uh you enjoy this and uh we'll probably be doing a, a full episode shortly and it'll be just like the perfect episode to take right because so now hurry that up now that you're caught up uh -huh. we just went into this portal and then down and in, down into hades down into hades found hades and he's yeah. like hey go get this artifact for me or fight me right now. To the death, pretty much. So what we decided to do is, we told Hades, all right, Turok told Hades, uh, we're gonna go get that amulet for you. We'll be right back. I mean, Whoop. We're not gonna go get it. We're not, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna go back to Gloomhaven, mm -hmm. go See this seer. We're going to go to the seer, which is right. the a different storyline. Right, because now the seer has two two things that have come into play. Yes. One allowed us to close the portal, and another allowed us to try and locate Jexra's lo location, right? right? Um, but in order to do that first, or in order to get on our good side, we have to help her. Right. To help her out first. So we are going to go... To her first, mm -hmm. pretend that we're getting the amulet, mm -hmm. and then hopefully at the end of this video, we'll go back to Hades, be like, "Hey, here's your amulet." Push! Just kidding. Dragon Ball. Wow, you knew that. Dragon Ball. What what move is this? There's a name to it. Potion punch. <laughs> Side thrust spell. So we are going to fight the demon, um, and hopefully that's going to be the episode that we tape for you guys, because it's probably yes. going to be pretty poor. And also the, the main reason why... The main reason, because I was all for fighting him. Let's get this over with. Let's do it. Okay, I don't want him, you know, swirling around the underworld any longer than he needs to be. But guess what? Cat, she's only a level three. She's so. a level three. So in one more playthrough, she will become level four. Yeah, she's one point away. So we figured it might be safer to get her to level four. Yep. It's new, more HP. Another health. Yep, and another, and, health. And another card. So we want to yep. go in fighting Hades like... All the way out. Dragon Ball punch. Dragon Ball Z power ball. Power, power ball. Power punch. Ball of fire. 
I'll accept that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so we are back into Gloomhaven right now. I don't watch Dragon Ball. No, that was before. Before I came around. Before we met. Yeah. That might be the reason why. Yeah. So we're in Gloomhaven, and we're going to do our city event. City event. Okay. Oh, you're going to read it. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've been doing the city oh, okay. events, and okay. you've been doing... Okay, what number is it? Oh, first of all, we're, we're blessing. Two people are yes. pulling out the bless right now. Scoundrel. Scoundrel. I mean, Ebenezer Mind Thief. And Morgana, the Spellweaver. They're going to go because I want to save everyone else's money to, to bless before we fight Hades. Do we have, does a guy have a name yet? Yeah, I I'm sure I already he forgot did. It. It. Well, it would forgot. really be Satan we're not, we're living not in Hades. I'm sure he has a name. I'll look it up while you're... You are relaxing at the Sleeping Lion... When an immaculately dressed man approaches your table, a fake smile plastered to his face. Okay. Ah, uh, you must be the mercenaries everyone is talking about. Yes. My name is Lord... Epion. Nope. That would have been a lot better. Uh -huh. Lord Greymane. And I have a delicate matter to discuss. May I sit? Lord what? Greymane? Greymane. Are you going to read me my options? I, we're not there yet. Oh, okay. You gesture to a chair and he sits with a faint grimace. I am transporting some valuable goods this evening from one of my warehouses. He's a, he's a dealer. He's a dealer. And I have some reason to believe that some of the less desirable elements in the city wish to steal from me. I would like to hire you to help me guard the undertaking. Okay, okay, so he wants us to be his bodyguards for transporting. Right. Who knows what. Agree to guard the goods. It should be easy money. Mm hmm Politely decline. You have much better things to do tonight. Ooh, this is a tough one. Because we don't I really know. know if he's like... Good or bad. Good or bad. You know, option A What if is it's like furs and... Or did he say jewels? He said, valuable goods this mm. evening. Like, what if it's like skinned animal pellets? Pellets? Oh. Or pelts? Pelts. <laughs> I don't want to touch no animal pellets. Number one. Okay. Number um, two, there isn't any number two. I, don't I think we make the money. Wow. Okay, make the money. Really? You're getting... See, here's the thing. It's easy money. Okay, so I know I'm going to get money out of this job. You would rather just decline and say... Good sir. Have a good night. Okay. I'll take the money. If I, if won't, I won't put, turn down a job because I want my reputation to grow. Let me just, let me just double check here. Let me just double check here. Yeah, you I have reason to believe that some of the less desirable elements of this city... So if it's yeah, bandits yeah. that want to yeah. steal, I will slay some bandits. But if it's like the poor trying to get food that this guy overpriced and selling it on the black market. Well, you know what? If that's the case, then we'll just give them the money that we make. Smart. We're going to make money? Yeah. Let's make it rain. Okay. Is our reputation greater than nine? No. Still five. You head to the warehouse and are immediately set upon by a group of thieves. Okay, good. We want to fight these thieves. However, they prove no match for your experience. I hope we don't and start. Are quickly, and are quickly dispatched. Okay. Raymane thanks you. Gain five experience each. I'm leveled up. I'm leveled up. I'm leveled up. Gain ten collective gold. Okay, well, that was the opposite of what I thought. I thought we would get bomb gold and no experience. Remove. Ten gold? Wow. So, here's the thing. We haven't technically left Gloomhaven. We could go right now to fight Hades. Because you are ready to go. But. We didn't all bless. We could bless right now. We could do it at any time. But I, I think we... No, because we want the fans to see. We want to tape. We want to tape that that fight, right? The whole fight. And we are not ready to do a whole taping right now. No, and you know what? It doesn't say... The guy's name. 
Okay. No. A monstrous creature, horned and terrifying. So you were going to No, so need... it's like the devil in South Park. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. okay. so you're going to need to pick your stuff. But we can we can just we can. I'm going uh, up to twelve health. The end of the table, we can explain what you we, what you selected, so we can keep this all. Yeah, all sure. Flowing. Okay, sure. and we gain ten collective gold. So, uh, who are we giving it to? How much money do you have over there? Um, Ebenezer has thirty five. Okay. Cat has twenty. You know what I would actually like to get for Morgana is that new helmet, that talisman. Which allows Hook you to up. use the, a potion twice. Mm. So I can use the potion, which allows me to refill my cards again. Ooh. So she can oh last my God. even longer. Unstoppable. How much so, does that cost? 45. How much does she have? 12. Are you kidding me? So okay. I'm going to give her 10 now. Yes, please. Just to get a little bit closer there. Yes, please. Okay, so she's back to 22. She's got to get some gold. I'm going to tell you right now what cards I'm going to add into her deck. Oh, you already know? Yeah, this is easy. Okay, well, we gotta do the road event first. No, don't we have to do this before we leave? Okay, sure. Sure. I'm going to add two plus one draw again cards. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. I like it. Okay. See? Okay, now do the road event. Okay, this while is I'm, you. Well, I'm finagling this. This is you. This is number 29. 29. Oh. My age. Walking among some foothills, you enter a narrow valley and find a large pile of stones blocking your way. Okay. Clearly, a rock slide occurred here recently. Obviously. Okay. You move closer to the pile and despair, and despair at just how large the stones are. Only someone of great strength and skill could clear a path efficiently. Okay, well... Seems like deja vu a little bit. Right. Okay, so option A... Attempt to clear the stones from the path. Option B. Go around. Backtrack. Backtrack and find a way no. around the stone-filled valley. Did you read this? No, we're clearing the path. Obviously, yeah, because it's going to be Torah. If we can move trees with Morgana. Well, it we specifically says great strength. With Morgana. Option A. Didn't say great strength or skill. And skill. Um, yep. We're going. Brute. Well, let me is see. Is moving. Uh oh. He's got a crown. No. What symbol is Are this? Are you telling me that the brute doesn't have strength? What? We don't have this symbol, do we? No. We don't. Okay, that makes no sense. Oh, I bet you was that elemental guy. It is. So it good. is. So what's okay, well, this isn't, this isn't good. Okay. The situation is not ideal, but you work through the pain. By the time a path has been cleared away, you never want to see another rock in your life. Discard two cards each. And then rip this bad boy up. All right. Well. Well, that was a trickster. That was a trickster because that's the that's the worst one we've gotten in a while. Moving boulders, I guess, is heavier than moving trees. That's the lesson learned. And your mage can't move them, the boulders, for whatever reason. How much experience do we get? Five. Yes. Okay. So we have to discard two cards. So again, well, that stinks. again, this is the reason why I'm you don't very really, glad that we didn't go to the boss. You don't really want to go travel back to Gloomhaven because you don't have to do a road event. And look, we're already hindered going into this fight. But I'd rather it be this fight than the next one. So we have to discard two cards. Okay, so let's just read the story and we will jump into this game. Mm -hmm. The Frozen Hollow. An enchanter has been called for, so an enchanter must be found. Following reports of an Aster, I, Aster, I'm going to mess up her name I don't know how constantly. To say it. In the Boiler District, you find yourself standing before an abandoned and decrepit tavern, the Crooked Bone. Isn't, isn't that where we just were? No, that was the Sleepy Lion or something. Oh. Something Lion. Opening the door, the inside looks exactly as the outside advertised cobwebs, splintered stools, and dusty, broken glass. Stepping past the threshold, a translucent female suddenly appears before you. Why have you come to this place, mercenaries? Your presence is unwanted, and you are disrupting my research. I like that accent. Thank that you. sounds just like Thank her. You. Yeah. You quickly explain why you have come, and the woman's frown deepens. Oh, look at the 
Etho, Etho's woman. She has fulfilled all our wishes. All she has to do is wave our hands and our wildest dreams will come true. Her accent is getting stronger as we go. She, she sighs in frustration and actually does wave her hands. Leave me in peace. You don't move. She stares. Well, instead of disrupting, then maybe you could help. Scratch my back. Maybe I'll scratch yours. I'm sorry. Oh my god. The oh, woman you turns. Broke, you and, broke character! And How walks you? towards a destroyed set of stairs. But after a few steps, she fades away entirely. I need an orb from the frozen hollows in the Copper Neck Mountains. The woman's voice comes from directly in front of you. As Wait if a she minute, Copper Neck Mountains. Hasn't Mountain. moved at all. Bring it back to me, and I may help you. A map drops at your feet. My name is Hale, by the way. Do not come back without the orb. Let me see what her name is. Hale? Hale. Oh, it is. My good. name is Hale. Okay. Pay attention, please. <laughs> the map is easy to follow, deep in the Copper Neck Mountains, obscured by snowdrifts. You find the opening to a dark, narrow cave. The wolf tracks around the entrance are troubling, but with a firm resolve, you enter. All right, so we are set up. Uh, we are entering this frozen, hollow snowdrift, and uh, I know you do not want to hurt animals, but there are a bunch of animals in this room with some creepy dark soul things. Sort of I'm going to pretend they're like skeleton animals they're or zombie spirits. animals. So oh, like, it, okay. it's not as bad as... So we're going to go into this uh, fight and you're getting... You, did you pick your new card that you wanted? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. There's two choices. Flurry of Blades and Gruesome Advantage. We'll see what we're going to decide and we will come back to you uh, at the end of this mission. When we come back to meet the woman that we are bringing the orbs to. One thing that I've done a little differently. <laughs> oh, oh, and I forgot, there's this other special rule here. I guess because it's cold outside. Add three negative one cards to each character's attack modifier. Yes, which deck. we already did. Blah. And one thing that I, I, I have not done yet for this scenario, which I've done in all the previous ones, as soon as we decide where we're going, I read it all. I want to, like, my eyes, like, wander to, like, ooh, what's that reward? Oh, cool. I haven't done it for this. Because uh, it's on the next on page. The next page. But I'm going to do my absolute best to do that in every scenario going forward to like not know what we get. So when you see us later, read it. It's going to be, be for like, the first it's gonna be time. super exciting. So uh, two days later, and we come back and we have finished this scenario. And we have over 50 likes. Wow, I jumped right to it. Well, we finished the scenario successfully, and yes... Uh, we have already hit 50 likes in the last episode, so we will be doing a full taping of Satan. Of going down and fighting yes, yeah. Hades. Hades, yeah, so the big boss. That is going to be a, an exciting, I think it's going to be an exciting episode. Mm -hmm. um, this one was, was actually right out of the gate. If you see that, if I put up the video, the ep if I put up the picture of the first room, it was like, ah, oh, not so bad. We have these dogs. These dogs tore us apart. Yeah. <laughs> right, right away. A lot of retaliate. We were. Ble That's the thing. All these guys had to retaliate, retaliate through this whole mission, except for the spirits. So and we were really hurting on uh, range, range cards. Uh, my range cards are so weak. Mm -hmm. It's it's very hard. And if you spend it early with the mage, then you're really going to hurt yourself yes. later on. Yeah. So, like I brought out my ally who just walked up and had to attack in melee range and just got retaliated on and died mm -hmm. instantly early on. So that, that really hurt us and set us back. Uh, the second room we had no problem with. Uh, and then the final room, we just kind of sent my mage in to, you know, because she always does that really long jump move. For the treasure. For the treasure. Popped invisibility. There was gold in the treasure, 20 gold. So that was great. Uh, so she got, and that was her perk too, uh, check mark. Nice. Getting a treasure chest. But we opened the door and then had this whole last group of guys kind of like flood towards the rest of our party. Uh, and that gave us time to rest and re recoup while the mage was hiding invisible. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we just started picking them off one by one. We used Ebenezer's new card, which kills someone. Um, 
Instantly. Yeah, instantly, who has five or lower health and then does damage to everyone standing around him. Yep. So that was cool. That poor dog just... Didn't see it coming. Yeah. So uh, it was actually kind of scary. My brute was down to, like, three health, Mm -hmm. so I would have had to... And and he did the whole, like, uh, he protected, he put up a bunch of armor, and then anyone that attacked that ally adjacent him, he was the target. So he went for the shield, and I was ready to discard a bunch of cards, but we made it through with him just shielding himself. Yeah. And then we just picked off guys one by one and made a ton of money on that. A lot of experience. Turok actually, uh, he has 192 experience, so he's 18 away from leveling up to level 5. As soon as someone hits level 5, we're going to have to, I believe, we're going to have to do a level 3 dungeon. Right. I actually don't want him to level up in the next mission. I want more people to kind of catch up Mm -hmm. to get there. Uh, so I, I was going a little too gung-ho with gaining experience. But he's got 23 gold, and Morgana has 54. So I think I have something in mind of what she's going to buy. Okay. They both completed their check marks, and they both gained perks from it. Uh, the Brute Turok, um, I added a plus three card in my deck. And Morgana, I added two plus ones. Um, okay, uh, Scoundrel did not complete her check mark. She was down to four cards in her hand, and mm. she had to have five or more. Um, she's at a total of 170 experience, and she's got 35 gold. She's getting back up there. Good. Um, Ebenezer did complete his. He had to kill a monster by at least four more points of damage. Um, did that. Uh, he is now at 182 oh, experience. Good. Okay, so yeah, maybe in two rounds. He's get always kind of like around where Morgana is, um, and he has back up to 50 gold. So nice. I think we will be doing money. some blessings. Blessing. Oh yeah, hopefully we can all bless. Yeah. The well, they're definitely going to. Okay, so well, what we I've been have not read. What I've been waiting for. We have not read. I don't. I don't want to look at the thing yet. I want. I just want to read the story. Okay. With the last of your (laughs) adversaries dead, you approach the back of the chamber where a small blue sphere floats above the floor. You slowly reach out your hand and find the orb cold to the touch. Oh, I thought you were going to get burned. With a firm grip on it, the temperature is almost unbearable, but you quickly stash it into your pack and make your way back to the crooked bone. You enter the abandoned tavern, and I, I totally forget what her voice was like, so... It was like sort of Eastern European meets silliness. Okay. Okay. You enter the abandoned tavern and call out to Hale. With no response, you wander around, Uh-oh. observing the chaotic mess around you. Oh, no! You wonder how she gets any work done in the environment. Unless she was robbed. Right. As you approach the counter... Hail appeals before you. Oh. Okay, good. Holding the orb. Okay. Very interesting. She doesn't seem to notice you at all. That's a voice. Okay. A rift in our plane, somehow contained within a spherical barrier. Good thing you didn't <laughs> break so this sorry. on your way back. So you easily could have been sucked into a plane of pure frost and been frozen solid before you had time to breathe or something worse could have happened. Oh, because she couldn't tell us this before we left? Don't break the The, orb? orb, Yeah, right? Freaking hell. hell. It's just so confounding who would have the power to do this. Hale takes a step to the left and disappears again. You wait for what feels like hours, refusing to sit on a few stools that haven't yet fallen apart. You call out occasionally, but receive no response. Oh, you're still here! You turn around to see Hale in the middle of the room. Good, I like to experiment on you if it's alright. I don't really like this. Wait, can we start over again? What is going on? She, like, left us in her... Oh, I'll be right back. She didn't even say that. No, she just It's just confusing. She reaches out towards you, and you stumble backwards, falling over a stool that splinters into hundreds of pieces. Oh, don't be a baby about it. (laughs) I'm pretty sure it will end well. Hale explains that she wants to try to bring forth raw power from another plane and contain it in a small orb that could give enhanced powers to anyone possessing it. That sounds safe. Isn't that what we just brought her? The containment process, however, requires a lot of 
gold medal. Now that you have helped me in my endeavors, I suppose I should return the favor. Hail sighs. So what is it exactly you wanted? Okay, so that now that just goes away? There's the orb? four missions. 7, 19, 31, and 43. So Where's I'm assuming some of those we already got. Where's the board? I'll get it in a second. I'll get it in I a can't second. wait. I can't wait. I gotta see it. Global achievement. The power of enhancement. That is it. Is our reward. The global achievement. The power of enhancement. And those locations. And those locations. So, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. we'll take a look at the locations in the next episode. But <laughs> the global achievement. I think this is what allows you to enhance your cards. Enhancing cards. The power of enchantment. Yep. So now we Are can... the enhancement or enchant enchantment? Enchantment. Enchantment. I probably said the other way. So we can actually enhance our ability cards by paying a certain amount of gold, and we can permanently change what they do. So we can add more movement, more damage, more... Um, all this stuff for a lot of gold. Like, look at this. Ooh. Whoa, 150 gold. Does what? What are we looking at? Disarm. Just disarm. Yeah. Oh, but like an extra attack is only 50? I don't know. I have to read. I never read this because it, you couldn't do it until ahead of time. So. Huh. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Base plus one enhancement cost. So do you know where we have to go to get this enhancement? We just have to go to the town. In town now, we could do this. Mm, Pretty it's cool. It's going to make it harder to pay the sanctuary. I know. I know. Okay, so we got a global achievement. That's pretty cool. Uh, sure. I think there might be a global sticker, too. Make okay. the board snazzy. Uh, but this will be the last episode. Mini episode. Mini episode. So we'll put this all in one video of the, you know. Which they might, of... if they're seeing this, they know. Because they've already watched the first two videos. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. And then the next video will be the full playthrough of us going, well, first we're going to go back to Gloomhaven. Yep. I'll Let show you all the new locations that we just recovered here, so we'll get a good handle of what our options are. We're going to bless, we're going to pop and lock, we'll probably have some beer, mead back then, and then we'll come back out to the dungeon. Be like, well, oh, no. hey, here's that amulet that you wanted. Pow! Pow, 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 pow. I haven't told her. I forgot about that until just now. Okay. Well. Crunch punch. It's thanks for watching. Crunch punch power. And uh, for those of you who left a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. It shows that you. Uh, wow. We were surprised. Yeah. It was like two days. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We okay. will. Keep it up. We'll do the next episode and we'll see you guys then.